Okay, we're back. Uh, this is uh, just a shot of where my uh, drone project is. Uh, you'll notice it's a quadcopter, but it does have uh, uh, two counter-rotating uh, three-phase drone motors uh, uh, per arm. Okay, we're getting the power stage in. All that good stuff. But something that um, I really struggled with was how do these motors here, very popular, actually work. Okay, at first I was thinking that they were like single phase motors. Guess what? They're not. Okay, but there is a very, very elegant, low cost solution to actually power the, uh, powering these things, controlling these things. Okay, what we have here is something called a test rig. Okay, a test setup. Okay. Now, I love Adafruit. I have a Raspberry Pi Zero wireless, uh, the Beagle board, all of that stuff. But where I get my parts for evaluation uh, is eBay. Okay? You can get all of these parts that you see on this test rig, each for under $5 free shipping. Okay? Now, it takes about a week or two to, uh, to come in. That's basically the cost that you're paying as opposed to uh, uh, buying full price here in the States. Okay? But it comes in these little dealios. Uh, they're basically uh, um, bubble wrap type uh, type things, and they come in directly from Hong Kong or China. Okay, I've basically been experimenting with uh, parts from this source, and uh, I'm very happy to report that uh, uh, that all of the parts have been uh, better than useful, uh, very reliable. Okay, now as far as I know, this is the simplest test rig you can do okay what we have here is something called a servo gear and the, and the reason why I think it's called a gear is because they have this uh, potentiometer on here that adjusts something called the pulse width modulation signal okay now these things are made specifically for testing servos okay servos also take uh, the pulse width modulation signal basically it's digital on and off according to a certain du uh, duty cycle, okay? But interestingly enough, you can control an electronic speed control from a servo gear, okay? So we have a servo gear, we have the electronic speed control, okay? This is a 30 amp, uh, and it goes for about five bucks, if, uh, if you really shop for it on eBay, okay? So what we do, is we connect it and send the pulse width modulation signal over to the uh, electronic speed control. What we're going to be doing is powering it off of a 500 milliamp or half amp tablet brick. Okay. Now you'll notice that I don't have a propeller on this. Okay, and I want to explain this carefully. These things I understand at full power as in when they have a, uh, a prop on them like this, or like this, that's when they start to draw the amps, okay? Now you should operate these motors under load, okay? If that makes sense. But since we only have a half amp supply, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it carefully with no load. In other words, just the, uh, just the nut assembly here. Okay. Let me plug it in and show you what we have so far. Okay. So the light comes on our servo gear. Now I'm going to slowly turn this up. Okay. You hear that? Let me put the mic really close to it. Okay, now notice that I'm just putting a little bit of torque on the servo gear. I'm not powering it up all the way. I don't even want to think of what would happen if I turned it up all the way. Okay, I'd probably short out my little tablet brick is what I'm thinking. I'd, I would exceed the amps on it. Okay, now this is the simplest test rig that I know of that you can actually uh, make one of these things rotate, okay? What you do is you take your electronic speed control 
and you put alligator clips on it okay because you'll notice that all of these wires are the same color so you don't know which which one to hook up to which uh, uh, wire okay so what you do is you integrate alligator clips okay and when it doesn't work you just exchange the wires randomly until you get it to work okay that's basically how I do it uh, so we have 5 volts coming in uh, we have uh, just raw 5 volt DC power coming into the servo gear and we have the servo signal co coming out okay now there's MOSFETs in the electronic speed control that don't actually pull that much current all we need to do is get that signal across okay inside the electronic speed control it pulls the power off of these thick power cables here okay there's a reason why these are thick and these are thin this is the signal this is where the power the amps come through okay you'll also notice that these are thick as well uh, the power comes through and these wires are excited in such a way that it produces the waveform and you can look this up on the internet that leads to this okay so that's the simplest test rig it probably cost me about twenty dollars total okay including the power supply so if you're looking to get a single channel up or rather a single motor up this is a really good little rig to throw together uh, this is the end of our presentation have a good day